All right, today we're doing five easy rum cocktails where the only spirit that you need is a bottle of rum with the rest of the ingredients you can find in your pantry or a quick trip to the grocery store. I've done the same video, but for whiskey and for gin, I'll put a link in the description below. And if you wanna see other spirits, just let me know. Now, rum is a very diverse category. If you're just gonna have one bottle, I would go with a light rum here. I've got one from Florida Cana that is very tasty and versatile. Some other bottles may have more intense flavor, more funk to them, so it's really a matter of personal preference, but any bottle should do. All right, we're gonna start with the classic daiquiri. Only three ingredients, but 100 ways to mess it up. For some of these drinks, you'll need simple syrup, which is just equal parts sugar and water by volume if you're using granulated sugar or by weight if you're using something finer. Add 3 fourths of an ounce or 22 mils into a shaker. To balance the sweetness, we're gonna need some fresh lime juice, another 3 fourths of an ounce or 22 mils. And then last but not least, rum roll please. We're gonna need two ounces or 60 mils of our light rum. Then we're just gonna shake that with ice for about 15 seconds. Now, as with many classic cocktails, the true origin of the daiquiri is a bit murky, though many sources point to it being invented by an American mining engineer in Cuba around the Spanish-American War at the turn of the 20th century. And today, this simple three-ingredient cocktail serves as a bit of a litmus test for a bar. If you can nail the daiquiri, you know how to balance a cocktail. So now we're just gonna double strain this into a chilled coupe glass. Look at that beautiful wash line. All right, let's give this one a taste. This cocktail is so simple, yet so delicious. Perfectly balanced, and it's a great template if you wanna play around with a new flavor of rum or muddle some berries or herbs into it. Everyone should know how to make this drink. All right, let's booze things up a bit with another one of my favorites, the Rum Old Fashioned. Now this drink is all about showcasing the flavor of the rum. So I would go with something with a little more character, maybe a dark rum, or in my case, I'm gonna go with a Rum Agricole from Martinique. You can, of course, use any rum you want here, but because it's gonna be the vast majority of the drink, pick one you really like. Now we're gonna build this in a rocks glass. So start by adding a big ol' ice cube in there and then break out the steel drum, because this is the real rum. Two ounces or 60 mils of our rum agricole into the glass. And just like with a whiskey old fashioned, we need a bit of sweetness. You could use simple syrup, you could use a demerara syrup here. I really like this cane syrup. It's got a nice caramel butterscotch flavor to it. We're just gonna add one bar spoon in here and then we're just gonna stir this drink for about 20 to 30 seconds. Now savvy viewers will note that I'm now basically building a tea punch, which is basically the national drink of Martinique. The defining characteristic of it is that funky rum agricole, but really you could use any rum you like here and call this a rum old fashioned. Now you could add a couple dashes of orange bitters or Angostura bitters here, but I really like the addition of a bit of lime as they do in the tea punch. Here I'm just gonna carve a coin out of the side of the lime, and you're not trying to get too much here, just a little bit of juice like that, and then we're gonna squeeze it over the top. A little juice will come out, rub some of the oils over the side of the glass, and then just drop it in the glass. All right, we're rolling with our engraved ice cube here, and let's give this a taste. The rum old-fashioned slash tea punch. This is such a good drink. I love just the subtle sweetness, the funky flavors of the rum, and then just a hint of lime juice. Gives it a bit of a tropical feel and balances out some of the subtle sweetness we've added. Next up, we have the classic, simple, three-ingredient highball, the Cuba Libre. Start by adding some ice cubes into a chilled Collins glass. Then call up Harry and Lloyd, because we're about to get rum and rummer with two ounces or 60 mils into the glass. What separates this drink from a simple rum and coke is the addition of lime juice, which is really gonna balance out the sweetness of the coke we're gonna add later. Just add one half ounce or 15 mils. Next, we need our Coca-Cola, and I'm just gonna use this Mexican Coke here that's made with cane sugar instead of high fructose corn syrup. Very satisfying. All right, now we're just gonna gently pour about four ounces or 120 mils into the glass and then give that a little twizzle with your cocktail stirring apparatus. And just like the daiquiri, this drink traces its origins back to the Spanish-American War, in this case during a free Cuba movement, hence the Cuba Libre. Throw a fancy lime garnish on that and let's give it a taste. It's super refreshing. The sweetness of the Coke is nicely cut by the acidity of the lime juice. If you're looking for something quick, easy, and tasty, this is your go-to. 
All right, don't pack your bags yet because we're sticking around Cuba for another round, the classic mojito. I've actually done a whole video on the mojito before, which included a pretty wild liquid nitrogen muddling technique. But here I'm gonna borrow a technique from my friends over at Equal Parts Cocktail. We're gonna start by dropping eight to 10 mint leaves into a Collins glass like this, and then grab half a lime, and we're gonna quarter that like this. We're just trying to get this into smaller chunks so that when we muddle this, we can extract more of the lime juice. Drop those into the glass on top of the mint. Next up, we're gonna use raw cane sugar instead of simple syrup here, a little less than a tablespoon. The grittiness introduced by the sugar in theory should help us extract some of the flavors during the muddling process. And finally, an outlet to channel all of your pent up anger and what better target than mint, lime, and sugar. You want to muddle this hard enough to extract the lime juice and extract some of the mint flavor, but not too hard that you're gonna shred the mint and release some of the bitter chlorophyll flavor. It is a delicate dance, but that is the art of the mojito. Once that's been properly pulverized, we're then gonna add our rum. Here we're gonna use the light rum here, one and a half ounces or 45 mils. Add in some crushed or cracked ice at this point and start to stir it around a bit to chill, dilute, and mix things together. Okay, now we need our bubbles. I'm gonna add about an ounce or 30 mils of mineral water to the cocktail. All right, give that another quick stir to mix everything together, then grab a fresh bouquet of mint, beat the devil out of it on the top of the glass to unleash some of the aromas, and then just tuck it in on top. Tuck in a sippy cylinder, and let's give it a taste. The classic mojito. It smells absolutely amazing and tastes delicious. What else do you want on a hot summer day? I mean, your drink is cold, it's bubbly, the mint is super fresh, it's not too sweet. This drink is perfect. Figured I'd throw in an original cocktail for the final drink here. So here is the very boringly named cold brew and cream. All right, so it should be no surprise there's some cold brew in this one. We're gonna start with 3 fourths of an ounce or 22 mils into a shaker glass. Next, we're gonna sweeten that up with half an ounce or 15 mils of our simple syrup. And as a rule of rum, we're gonna add two ounces or 60 mils, preferably using a dark rum. Now this is optional, but highly recommended. I'm gonna throw in a bar spoon of cream of coconut. And then once you crack this open, you can also make a pina colada. Now I like my coffee with cream, so I'm gonna throw in a splash of heavy cream here, but you could also use half and half. And we don't wanna dilute this too much, so we're just gonna shake with a couple cubes for about five seconds or so. Crush a little bit of ice in a Lewis bag, pour it into a Collins glass, and then we're gonna strain our drink in and top with a little bit more crushed ice. Drop in a sippy cylinder if you're feeling fancy, give it a little stir, and here we go. The cold brew and cream. I mean, this is so tasty. Why even bother with a regular cold brew when you can have this? Throw it in a Starbucks cup and that'll just be our little secret. Today's video was sponsored by Raycon Wireless Earbuds. I've been testing these for months now and am loving both the sound quality and comfort. They're super discreet and are nice and snug in the ear. I find these are great for working from home, working out, or listening to music and podcasts. Raycon Earbuds start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market and they sound just as amazing as other brands I've tried. Their newest model, the Everyday E25 earbuds, have six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. There's lots of colors to choose from as well. Right now you can get 15% off your order by going to buyraycon.com slash cocktail chemistry. I'll put a link in the description. Hey, thanks for watching y'all. If you're enjoying this content and want to see some bonus content, consider becoming one of my patrons but please only consider it if you have the means to do so right now. If a couple bucks a month doesn't mean much to you, then I would greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, don't support at this time. Cheers, y'all.